In the 30 years since Federation's birth, Vancouver has grown and our community has grown, larger and stronger than ever. As we look forward to the next 30 years and inspire the next generation, let's remember and celebrate how far we've come. We were the last of the large intermediate Jewish communities in North America to actually join the Federation movement. And it didn't come without a lot of labor pains. Prior to Federation, there were two organizations. The UJA raised funds for Israel, and Jewish Community Fund and Council raised money for local needs. It was apparent that we had a problem in that both sides never talked to each other. It was almost like we had two communities up till then. This community was a Israel first community in those days. Israel it needed our support financially much more than today, but people weren't really thinking about the organizations in British Columbia, in Vancouver. And the local agencies were starving, each of them running individual campaigns. There was a need to try and come up with an organization to bring the community together. It was time for a federation. We were growing like the U.S. Uh, Sunbelt Jewish communities very, very fast. Uh, I used to say that we weren't a rooted community, not like Toronto and Montreal, um, because everybody came from somewhere else. There was a great deal of, of suspicion. Was this a power grab? It was frightening for lots of people. Federation was created with some fanfare, but no one knew how it would work. Well, what was this new organization and, and how is it going to change the way Vancouver's Jews did community? I think the biggest challenge was to make sure that we became more cohesive as a community. Having an umbrella organization that planned, looked ahead and set strategic direction for the community, I saw the difference it could make. And we were very lucky. Arthur Folks, Lois Rafel, they spearheaded a group. The two of them together were a boundless energy and committed to this result. My late father and Lois Rafel, uh, they were asked to come east by UIA and they felt that, that our local community was, to use her expression, being starved and wasn't getting enough of the donations. Bob Coleman became the first president. Because if it wasn't for Bob Coleman, there probably wouldn't have been a federation because he was a very pro-Israel guy who was prepared to step back and say, we need this community to grow. If we don't support ourselves first, how are we going to be able to support Israel? The first challenge was bringing all those organizations together. There was no planning function. There was no body that looked at the community and said, we need this for the elderly. We need this for young adults. Jewish education opportunities, the next generation of leadership. We need to look at Richmond and Burke West and the North Shore. None of that had happened. There was no place for that to happen. Educating the community was a prime focus back in those days. We didn't have the internet. We didn't have social media. The initial efforts were done through the Federation magazine, a publication that actually won awards from the Council of Jewish Federations, and it was the way we communicated with the community. For me, it was very exciting because the central address of community was Jewish Federation of Greater Vancouver. All the activities, all the missions, all the goals, the key issues. This federation was a family and that we were going to absorb them into the process of building the Vancouver Jewish community. I think it really only took root, solid root, when the campaign grew and suddenly federation was, was recognized as um, not someone that's going to take away, but someone who's going to give us a lot more. We weren't anymore trying to justify who we were but we're trying to manage the growth in the community and how we could service all the needs that were there. A key development for the community was the establishment of the Jewish Community Foundation through the impetus of Helen Coleman. And I hadn't even known what an endowment was, but the more I knew, the more excited I got because I felt there was a huge future with endowments. It's important for the future of the community to fund both existing programs and new opportunities. It's exciting.
People look to Federation now. They receive money, of course, but they also receive leadership. The catalyst to make it really happen was Mark Gervis and the level of community leader involvement he achieved. And Mark really turned Federation around and it, it became a real professional organization in many senses. One of the things that attracted me to choose Vancouver was my sense that there was a lot of opportunity, lots of room for growth. We dramatically increased the funding going overseas. We were also at the same time able to raise more money than we ever had before for uh, Vancouver's uh, growing Jewish community. So I think the community became more confident in, in itself and more uh, proud about what it could achieve. Obviously, the years of, of good management has allowed people to trust Federation more as a reliable partner. Well, we're one of the very few federations that, uh, certainly of our size in North America, that has a growing campaign. Our foundation is doing unbelievably well. Federation is that one place that can show strength on behalf of the entire community. The federation is doing so many different things now that they didn't do before. Today, it's a whole new ball game. The involvement of our federation leadership in the national organizations, we are no longer from out there. Uh, we're from in here. There's this worry about the diaspora connecting with Israel and Israel connecting with the diaspora. We're working, we're doing that. We needed to make people understand that you got to provide for the future. So where does it come from? I guess tikkun olam. This world is in great need of repair, perhaps more than ever. And I think federations can be a positive force. It starts with federation. Without federation, you've got nothing. A community can't grow without somebody helping bring all the, the villages together. Being part of a community is a, a necessity of our lives. In the Jewish community, um, there are so many rewards to being part of it. Federation isn't 30 years old. It's not 50 years old. Jews getting together, taking the responsibility of building a society, is 3,000 years old. So I want to say happy birthday, happy 30th birthday, but this baby is a lot older than that, and I feel a great sense of pride about it. And I'm so excited to see what it is that we're going to do tomorrow.